What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me. You know who it is. Sunday morning, December 17th, 2023. 12 o'clock on the dot. It's at noon. Just ran an emergency service call for an existing customer in Valley Stream. It took about 12 minutes to get to his front door for my driveway. Not too shabby. Got to burn him. 204. Gas boiler, zone valve system. Um, ground floor right off the kitchen. It's nice as you get old, you know, the uh, the bones, you know, they hurt. Going up and down these stairs, crawling around in attics. Makes me, uh, makes me wish that I took better care of my body when I was younger. You know, even going back, you know, a couple years, you know. I uh, only recently started to use my kneeling pad, you know, instead of just kneeling down on my kneecaps. Um, started using that a lot more. The knee pad, the knee pads. Got to take care of your body, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're not getting any younger. Definitely not getting any younger. Anyway, I go out there and um, it's got zone valves. So I just check to see if there's any resistance on any of the zone valves. And there's tons of resistance. They're not moving. They're all closed. Thermos that was off. We turned that on. The zone valve slowly opens. You hear the click of the thermostat relay on the fan center inside the boiler in the, in the behind the front door. Then you hear a click of the gas valve, but nothing. I'm like, all right, probably pilot is out, right? Sure enough, pilot is out. Relight successful. Wow, this just never happens. <laughs> so I uh, explained to him, you know, why, why the pilot went out, possible reasons, and um, what we could do to correct it and what we can do moving forward to prevent the no heat service call, you know, on, um, on a Sunday morning in December when it's 54 degrees outside. <laughs> um, also replaced the automatic air valve there with the thermal couple, which I like to call a pilot flame sensor. Sounds more layman's term, you know, they know what it is. Yeah, then I went to the shop got rid of some material that I had delivered to my house. I'm going to stop doing that. Now I have Peter as my office and warehouse manager. Peter's going to be in charge of that. Receiving packages, ordering material as needed. You know, replenishing material that's being used throughout the day by the technicians. You know, their, one of their responsibilities is they need to write down the material that they use off the truck. That way it can get replaced. Right? There's nothing worse than using something for a job, like a circulator, for example. You don't have that. You only have one or two in the truck anyway. And then uh, you go to another service call, and now you need a circulator. And it's not there because you never put it back in the truck because you forgot you used it, and now you're running to a supply house. That's my biggest pet peeve. You know, I believe in having fully stocked trucks. I built my business on delivering fast and reliable plumbing and HVAC services to my clients with the arrival of a fully stocked truck. You know? If you're in the service and repair business, you know what? You gotta have a stock truck. You know, and if you do plumbing and heating, it's tough, you know? But look, I got a little mattress right here. Cargo van. And I got a lot of stuff in it. A lot of stuff in it. Let me give you a quick little truck tour. All right, there it is. The Mercedes Metris. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. It really is. All right, quick little tour here. So we have the back doors that open up. Um, I have some press fittings here, half inch to one inch. I think I have a couple inch and a quarter. Yeah, no, no inch and a quarter. Um, you know, just some pipe strapping material. Um, liquids, chemicals, things like that. Um, just things like that. Here, and I got my blower, leaf blower in there and my wire. That I make my own whips. Normally keep some WD-40 there. The vap coil rinse and the croil. 
Here I got my PEX stuff, uh, the crimp stuff. All right, nothing expansion because that's done on, you know, on a per job basis. Um, I got the, the our, <laughs> it's packed, bro. Combustion analyzer, um, blower motors, condensate pumps, furnace cement, tubing uh, for the condensate removal, you know, my quick swap by quick products by mainstream engineering, those cool little boards, the uh, X3 and the V3. Again, you know, I'm not carrying ECM motors, you know, crazy amounts, but um, relays, circulators, um, dealing with hydronics, you know, uh, we have all that crazy good stuff there. I'm just giving you a quick little rundown, but to show you that the truck is fairly, fairly packed. And here is my black and galvanized fittings. If we go to the, the side door. All right, it continues. Clipboard right there to write down what we use when we take it off. Hose, B-tanks, nitrogen, gloves, label maker. You know, I got this, this. It's stocked, bro. It's stocked. You know? Pull out drawer from my Milwaukee stuff, my capacitors and ball valves in there, and just other miscellaneous stuff up there. But you can see it's pretty packed. You know, there's not there's nothing on this truck that I couldn't restore an air conditioning system to or a heating system to other than like an inducer assembly you know what i mean so that's a quick little tour right there um if you're in the service business you need some guidance want some help you can book some one-on-one -on -one time with me on my website pipedoc.net um just click the link book online and look for my service where it says virtual consultations love to help you and um together we can make the trades great again. <sighs> Thank God. Thank God. I was just thinking in my head, this family, no heat for all season long, it turns out. Tomorrow, we're going to bring them back some heat and restore some sanity to their lives and make their home habitable again. And, uh, you know, going back and forth with this insurance company, you know, it's like... My God, like, how do you even, like, I don't know. Check it out tomorrow, guys. Catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.